With much of the southern half of the state suffering from drought this past summer, plenty of people whose wells ran dry had no choice but to call a drilling operation to dig a deeper hole. But researchers at the University of Maine are now looking into a new kind of well, one that's shallower, cheaper to dig, and possibly more reliable. In our continuing series on Maine's changing climate, Carly Dion shows us how this new kind of well could be a boon, especially for farmers. Andrew Toothacker says he and his wife bought this 160-acre plot of land in Holden, known as Hart Farm, just two years ago. The very first year that we were here, we have all these historic hand-dug wells that are, you know, 20 feet deep, like literally dug by hand, um, that all just totally went dry with uh, the drought. As mixed vegetable and livestock farmers, Toothacker says they needed a long-term sustainable well solution that was also affordable. Usually if you're digging like, uh, like a drilled well, it would be big uh, lengths of pipe casing, um, which are really expensive, especially right now. He says he learned about a newer shallow well design created by U.S. Geological Survey hydrologist Joseph Ayot and decided to install it himself last year. Ayot says he originally designed this well for residential use at his own home. I've been using it for a number of years, uh, very effectively through droughts. Um, it's arsenic free, it's bacteria free, uh, and it's been uh, overall very reliable. Wells are designed to capture water that flows underground. Ayot says traditional deep wells can sometimes be thousands of feet deep and use about three foot diameter tiles, which he says can be very effective. But because they're three feet in diameter, um, especially around the bottom, there's very little opportunity for water to enter the well um, as designed. Ayot's shallow well design has a much wider surface area, is roughly 20 feet deep, and uses crushed rock in its reservoir instead of tiles, which allows for it to capture more water than deep wells. University of Maine Assistant Professor of Sustainable Agriculture, Rachel Chapman, is now studying how these wells can support local farmers. And one of the things that farmers in the Northeast are starting to struggle with more and more is drought and dry periods, especially in the later part of the summer. Chapman says to Toothacker allowed her to install test wells around his shallow well to study its effectiveness. What this will allow us to do is look at how water moves through the soil profile during different periods, so during dry periods and wet periods, to understand how the shallow well affects the water, the greater water resources. Though still in its early stages, Chapman says the results from Hart Farm during this past summer's dry conditions show promise. They were successfully able to irrigate off of this well um, reliably through the drought, which is anecdotal, but also uh, points in a really exciting direction. Toothacker says it's proven to be capable of doing a lot with a little. If you have even the tiniest amount of rain, you can pump. 6,000 gallons all day long. Which is becoming a crucial component in creating more resilient farms. And being millennials, getting into farming, like there's, there's no guaranteed success for us. There's, <laughs> you know, we have, to, we have to make that happen. And so being more resilient in everything that we do is really, really important. Showing promise to help farmers maintain water security in our changing climate. Carly Dion, News Center, Maine.